from LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a huge day as earnings recession continues to proliferate. We'll go over the latest miss on that earnings recession overnight. And today, it was Facebook, now Meta. All the latest details on another miss on this channel. The labor numbers released minutes ago. And what happened? It went exactly where your truly said that labor is going to go. 260,000? Yes. In fact, it would rise for the last week higher across the board. The biggest week that it there is is underway, and we'll go over what happened with Jay Powell yesterday, that raise of those interest rates across the board. Plus, the news that we're all looking for, that news of a recession. All the latest details on not just the earnings recession, but the confirmed number of negative GDP growth. That, my friends, is why you want to get a forcible check that is in every U.S. state. This is the magnitude of these checks covered on this channel since the month of March, and you qualify, done by executive action in the month of March. We're going to go over all these incredible checks. You deserve them. You get them. Viewers have got to them. We're going to meet one viewer who got 18 months of checks, nearly 60 checks in this last week. You go onto this video, you can become a member. You become part of the channel that's changing the face of broadcast news. Exciting day. We've never had a day like this. We'll have the latest announcement of a recession. I told you it was going to be announced this morning. It was. The latest numbers on the unemployment claims. I told you it was going to go to 260 and went to 261. Then I'll have the latest details on the earnings recessions. More companies miss the latest guidance given today, but some companies beat what's going on. Plus, we'll have the latest details on the reaction to the news. Plus, we'll have the data on the housing that came in minutes ago and Big shocker at the very end of this video. Stay to the very end. Trust me, you want to. Because I'm not going to repeat what I'm going to say at the very end of this video. It's a big day with so much going on. The great news is that I have big checks for you, and I'll always have big checks for you. Not just today, not just this week, not just this year. Every year, because I've been doing this since day one. We have a lot of money for you to get. Stay to the very end of this video. We can go over all these incredible checks. Approximately $100,000. You deserve them. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, it's the most important broadcast you may have here this entire month on L.A., and it starts right here, right now, as Afternoons L.A. gets underway. And good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day. It is gorgeous here along the coast for July 28th, 2022. Earnings recessions upon us as another major corporation missed in that second quarter earnings call yesterday. And who was it? It was Facebook Meta. But other companies actually beat. Plus, minutes ago, we got that confirmation. We're in a recession. Two negative quarters of GDP growth announced. I all told you this was going to happen. I all told you it was going to happen, and I also told you 230,000 new jobless claims would surge to 261. It did. I have the latest details on that number released minutes ago, and we'll go over the raise of your benefits, huge sums of money, plus we'll be going over the biggest week that was that gives us more details about what's going on with labor and what's going on with other items across the board. But first, I really want to start with the earnings recession because this is one of the most important things. The best indicator of where this economy is, is whether corporations dramatically are being hit badly by a recession, now confirmed minutes ago, and the inflationary environment. And the news today is that it's not all, all equally bad. We have some major corporations beating on top and bottom today in their second quarter earnings calls, despite the misses you saw in the lead in. The lead in in the last few days has been the biggest companies that we look at and we have Apple and Amazon reporting after the after the close today have been missing. We have so far missed with some of the majors on Ally Light. The majors who have missed on top, which is revenue, bottom, and earnings so far, have been the following. Snap, Twitter, Alphabet, the parent of Google, Microsoft, Chipotle, but we had a major miss overnight and that we had some major beats minutes ago. Whoa, this is interesting. So, of course, the major miss overnight was Facebook. Now, Meta. 
It missed on bottom, which is earnings. It missed on top, which was on revenue. Then, as soon as they were announcing last night, Ford. I talked a lot about Ford last year. I talked a lot about that Ford electric vehicle. I talked a lot about those Ford electric vehicles. Apparently it worked, because guess what? Ford beat on bottom, Ford beat on top. It beat on bottom, which of course is revenue is earnings, and beat on top, which is revenue. Then minutes ago, we had other earnings calls that came in, and they were some beats as well. Hilton beat, also beating Southwest Airlines minutes ago. Also beating, delivering impressive numbers, was beats on Royal Caribbean, beat on American Express, beat on Visa, but a miss on Best Buy, and then a major miss for Black & Decker, which was down 12%, which is down 12% right at the time of this broadcast. CEO David A Donald Allen says a softening of demand environment, significant slower demand in late May and then in June. It's interesting. This, my friends, is why you have to get a force to most check. You got to get this force to most check. And I'm calling it force to most check, and I'm going to continue to call it force to most check, because the numbering system you see on this channel, you're not going to see this numbering system anywhere else. I want to make this very clear that this is fourth because it's the fourth round of money I've gotten viewers on this channel. I'll explain the significance of why I'm saying that for the first time on this recording later. Go into this video, become a member. Stay at the very end as we get these incredible four symbols checks in every U.S. state. You deserve this money. That is how we started the day. But the big news, of course, was what I told you was coming in in the biggest week that there was. What was the biggest news? We were waiting to see whether this week would deliver exactly what I said it would. Over a month ago, I delivered you to the news. I think it was actually two weeks ago. It's two, three weeks ago this Friday. When the Atlanta Fed GDP Now, which is a live tracking tool, was released July 1, they had looked at the second quarter of the year that had just ended on June 30th, and they said, we look at that live tracking. They have a 30-year tracking record. They've never ever gotten it wrong and they said we see negative gdp growth for the second quarter that would be two second two consecutive quarters of negative gdp growth and you know because you're a viewer of this channel that a recession is defined as two negative consecutive quarters of gdp growth gross national product they confirmed it then but we need the official announcement today from department of labor it came in and guess what happened atlanta fed gdp now is correct I was correct. You are correct. And all those analysts all this week that I said, what are they doing here? All those analysts said, I think we're going to have a positive GDP number on Thursday. I said, where are you getting this from? I want to know what's the basis of your nonsense. Well, it was nonsense because minutes ago, the Atlanta Fed GDP now number was validated for the 32nd consecutive year. The Department of Labor released the number, and we are now in a confirmed recession. We have now delivered two negative quarters of GDP growth. That is what has happened. The number was a 0.9% uh, negative for the second quarter of this year. So now we have posted six months of negative GDP growth. Before I continue, I really want to go into the analysis. Uh, and I'll, actually, not the analysis. I want to go over what you're seeing out there. What you're seeing out there is that Republicans are polarizing this and to our Democrats. Republicans are trying to say it's not just a recession. It's also stagflation, which is actually worse than a recession. Recession is recession just by itself. Stagflation is recession plus uh, inflationary environment. On the other side, Democrats are trying to spin the news and say, no, we're not really in a recession because in a recession, you know, there's 15 other harmful things that happen and they haven't happened yet. Folks, it's a recession. It's a recession. We're not going to politicize economic terms on this channel. We're not going to politicize economic benchmarks that are released by nonpartisan organizations. We're in a confirmed recession. And that confirmed recession had started on January 1 and continued into June. We don't have the third quarter until, you know, obviously July, August, and September. We don't have it until September. And most analysts, ironically, both Republican and Democrats, who are very politicized, believe that the third quarter will be, ne will be negative GDP growth. There you go. That is why you want to get a force stimulus check that is in every U.S. state. You are in a recession, and Americans, as I told you over the last week, are going to, by the end of today, hear this in their local mom-and-pop radio station. Hi, you, good morning, you're in a recession. They're all going to hear it, and they're all going to swirl to this channel to get this big money. We're going to go over all this incredible money later in this recording. Force stimulus check is in every U.S. state, passed by the President of the United States by executive action. 
And we're staying with the term for stimulus for purposes of recording because that's how I number it. I'm not going off of how someone else numbers it. It's how I number it on the channel. These incredible checks have now paid one viewer 18 months of checks. We'll go over her success story, another viewer's success story, and your success stories later in this recording. Become a member. Stay on this video. The other number we were looking for today, I also got right as well. I, I, I got to tell you, I have a 100% track record this year. I have not missed a number. The only number on this one that's actually interesting is I said it was going to come this week. It actually came last week. Confusing? Yeah, let me explain. We were looking for the new unemployment claims number released this morning. It was at 180 no less than four weeks ago. In fact, it was at 160 in March. It went to 200. I said it was going to go to 230. I got it right. Then I said it was going to go to 250. I got it right. Then all this last week, I said it was going to go to 260. The number released minutes ago was a shocker. And it wasn't particularly exactly like we thought it was going to be. What happened? Let me say this slowly because I had to read it three times. <laughs> you saw the graphic there. Last week, last Thursday, the no number of new jobless claims released was 256. So I said it was going to go to 260. So the breaking news this morning was that the number of jobless claims is down that's how it read, down 5,000 to 256. Uh, what type of math is that? It was 251 last week, and now it's 256, and they say it's down 5,000. Uh, okay, this is bad writing. This is bad news reporting writing. They should have led with the fact that the Department of Labor reassessed last week's number up. Yeah, that's what you lead with. Otherwise, no one follows what you're talking about. Last week's number when released last week was 251. Department of Labor often reassesses the prior week and, and fix the number because they, they misguide on the number. They came back and they fixed last number, 260. 260 last week. So this week fell from last week to 256. I got it right. I told you we're going to 260. I just, you know, I thought it was today. It was not, well, you know, it, 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 we went to 260. Now we're down to 256. Uh, now they can reassess today's number next week. Uh, everyone's reassessing things, except, you know, certain people's hairstyle. Uh, it's just that's how it goes on this channel. Uh, wow. That's, what is that, three for three? Earnings misses. I got that right. I got unemployment right. I got um, the recession right. What else is the major story today? The other major story today, of course, is what Jay Powell did yesterday. And you and I got that right as well. I said he was going to do 75 basis point increase for that July FOMC increase. It was. It was 75 basis point. And he dot, did not do 100 basis point. The reaction to the news uh, to Jay Powell was really just all over the place. I, it, it, you know, everyone and their... Everyone and their um, sandbox had something to say about j Powell yesterday. But I really do like the chief equity strategist and chief investment officer. There's a biggie. There's a big guy at Morgan Stanley, Mike Wilson, who said the excitement by Wall Street over a 75 basis point increase yesterday is not what it should be. And he says j Powell's setting you up for a trap. Uh, oh, <laughs> this sounds like an episode of Sleuth. Who's in the kitchen with with uh, with Captain Peacock? Uh, the market rallies once the Fed stops hiking rates until the recession begins, but it's unlikely there's going to be much a gap of time between when the Ed Fed hiking rates and the recession. This comment was yesterday. Of course, we're in a recession now. Ultimately, this will be a trap. The market will be hit by stronger than you would thought, given the slower signals have been consistently negative. Even the bond market is starting to buy into the fact that the Federal Reserve is probably going to go too far and drive us into recession. This comment was, was Wednesday. Today is Thursday, and we are now in a recession. Uh, we're getting close to the end. Now, this is where it gets interesting. If you're talking about the stock market crash... This is really strange. Let me read this quote slowly, and I have a lot to go over with this one. He says, by the end, I be, mean this bear market is going to be going on for a while, but we're getting close to the end. That's sort of contradictory. We're close to the end of the bear market, but this, is going, this has been going on for a while. It hasn't been going on for a while. It's been going on since June. <laughs> what? Uh, 30 days is a long time. I'm sorry. I feel like I aged in 30 days. I'm just like 200 years old now. It's really important for every frame of every testament terms. So the news this morning, additionally, had people saying, you know, don't you feel guilty that you didn't buy at the low of this bear market of June? 
Uh, <laughs> excuse me, we just started the bear market. And if we're in the recession, we're going down 50% on stocks. Many are still only down 12 or 14%. Of course, you have Royal Caribbean and, you know, the travel stocks all doing really, really well. This, my friends, is why you have to get a four symbols check in every U.S. state. You got to get this big money. Go into this video, become a member. Now, the other part of what Jay Powell said yesterday, which impacts you so dramatically, you know what I'm about to say, is your benefits. Your benefits. Your benefits are going up a lot. Why? Because Jay Powell is not getting inflation down and then inflation continues to track higher. What were some of the analysts saying today, rightfully so? Rightfully so, they were saying that the situation on inflation may not be done for a long time, that inflation may still be with us for much longer, and that they're also saying that the latest data that we have now will amplify with a lot of data between now and the next time the Federal Reserve meets in September. That's my big question. What is Jay Powell going to do in September? If he does not get inflation down dramatically with today yesterday's rate increase, which I don't think he is, then is he going to do another 75 in September, folks? I think he is. Wall Street's not betting on it just yet. They're thinking it's going to be really soft by third by, by September. We had that raise this, we had that CPI on a major beat on two weeks ago on a Wednesday. Then on Thursday, the retail, the PPI beat. Then on Friday, the major beat on the retail sales. As the inflation is still not peaked, let's be very clear. Even though Jay Powell raised interest rates yesterday, inflation is not peaked. 8.6% was the May read. The July, June read last Wednesday, 9.1%. Not this Wednesday, but the Wednesday before, before that. Your benefits are going up based upon this news. And this is great news for you across the board. Let's go over why. First, is going up because inflation is not peaked. How much? About $5,000. How does this work and what's at issue? Let's go over all the equations right now. First, who is it? It's you. It's you. SSA, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits. Next, which months determine this? July, August, and September. Folks, this is why you got to watch this channel. This is why you got to watch this channel. This is why you can't miss a minute of this recording. You can't miss a minute of any recordings on this channel, especially this one, say the very end. You're going to shock her at the very end. Your benefits are going up a lot because inflation has not peaked. How much? The largest of a generation. You want to get up and celebrate. This is the really great news that no one is going to take away from you. We have to watch the July, the August, and the September CPI is what's going on. Your benefits are tied to something called COLA. That COLA is determined by another number, the CPI-W. In three months, the month of July, the month of August, and the month of September, the data is released 30 days thereafter. So July is released in August and et cetera. Well, we need to see that this inflation right now, that the current experience in this economy stays where it is, it goes higher, because if it does, your benefits are going up a lot. And what number are we going to look together as a family this week to get a guidance of whether inflation is going higher? Well, we already had the week start with uh, Microsoft, Twitter, Facebook all saying the inflationary environment is really hurting their businesses. But the way we're going to see it as a family, of course, is what's happening on Friday. Friday at 8.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, the personal income expenditure PCEI is released. It's the most reliable indication for inflation between the CPI reads. It comes in between them. And that is on Friday. Of course, we're going to have Apple, Amazon reporting after the close today. I'll have them on evenings tonight. We'll also have some other corporate uh, uh, releases for earnings like Hershey's and Valero. But if inflation tracks higher, your benefits are going up a lot. That is the incredible, incredible great news. You can't take it away. So how much? Who is this? How does this work? Let's go over the details. First, it's you. It's you if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, rare old benefits, veterans benefits. It's incredible great news. Number two, it's automatic. You don't have to do anything. It lands by direct deposit, otherwise in the mail, however you get your benefits. Number three, how much? About $5,000. But some viewers will get more. Some people will get less. It depends on how much your current benefits are. The amount is the same percentage 
increase for everyone. So the amount itself may be different for people, but the percentage increase will be the same for everyone. The biggest increase of your entire lifetime, because once your benefits go up, they never go down. And why do I say lifetime? Because you're never going to see inflation this high again during your lifetime. It really only happens once in a blue moon. This incredible lift of your benefits is also featured in the membership newsletter. Become a member. Go right on this video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. And with that, let's go over those incredible four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. You deserve this money. You deserve this money. This was done by the President of the United States back in the month of March. A series of incredible checks. We're going to go over all these incredible checks starting right now. These incredible checks, you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits, go get it. How do you get it? Become a member. Go right on this video and become a member. You're going to see, this is a preview of what's happening later in this recording. You're going to see why your membership on this channel is so valuable, more valuable than even it was 24 hours ago. You're going to see why membership on this channel is the most important value you can get right now. And I'll explain to you later in this recording. It's a preview of what's coming up later. Let's go over these incredible checks. It's about four stimulus done by executive action in the month of March, a series of incredible executive actions from Joseph Biden that pay you approximately $100,000. Every person's amount differs, but those incredible sums of money are available. Single individual, 75,000 less, go get them. And these were done by executive action by the President of the United States in the month of March, a series of different laws. We're going to go over all those incredible checks later in this recording. You qualify and you want to get those incredible sums of money. Become a member, go right on this video, and get that incredible membership newsletter. Congratulations to the hundreds of new members in the last 24 hours. You deserve this money across the board. We're going to go over each of these incredible checks one at a time so you understand how to get them. We're going to go over the membership newsletter as well in the second half. That's all coming up. But first, let's recap what we know about what to put in the Allied Worksheets. The Allied Worksheets are really one of the big hits of this channel. Why are they? Because they're really working. Let's jump into those LA worksheets. They're in the newsletter. They're in the newsletter down the third line. You open them up. You can print them for your phone or you can download them and follow along. On the first page, inflation, what do we learn? We learned overnight that the J-PAL's focus on inflation is perhaps more focused than labor. The Federal Reserve has a dual mandate, get inflation under control and get maximum employment. But he said, he actually admitted I'm potentially going to be softening the labor market, another way to say hurt the labor market, to get inflation down. Recession. We now know we're in recession. Two negative quarters of GDP growth. We also now know that Democrats will say we're not in recession, or Republicans will say you're really in a very bad recession. So it's getting very politicized. Labor. We now know that the number of unemployment claims went exactly where I said it would. 261,000 last week. It wasn't this week because they reassessed last week. But we did come down to 256 today. Uh, and the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve raised interest rates yesterday, 75 basis point as projected, not one. And they're coming back in September. They'll have a lot to do in September. Uh, let's look at that second wonderful page of the worksheets, and we have a huge success story there. One viewer was key. Uh, the, what is the second page? The second page is where to keep notes on your checks that you apply for because you have a lot of checks to apply for. You have a lot and lots and lots of checks to apply for. And you want to keep track of when you applied, who you applied with, how much you got paid, and when you got paid. One viewer was doing that, but she wasn't looking at her piece of paper. She forgot to look at the piece of paper. And then last Thursday, she got an email from Florida saying, Congratulations, you got approved for check V. Check me. How many checks did she get? Upwards of 80 checks because she became a member of this channel. This is just last Thursday. Let's go over what happened. She got 18 months of checks paying for her mortgage. Folks, that is not $10,000. That's tens of thousands of dollars. 18 months of your mortgage checks, that's astronomical. A year and a half, that is tens of thousands of dollars, but it doesn't stop there yet. She also got all her utility bills paid for 18 months. So most people have about four utilities. Four utilities plus mortgage, that's five checks per month. Five checks per month over 18 months, <laughs> that's almost 100 checks. Almost 100 checks that she got because of this channel. It's not a rarity. It happens all the time, and it should be you. Become a member right now. Another viewer, Spelly. I got his pronunciation right today. I've been practicing. Spelly got a wonderful story for you as well. He got check A approved. And then he went back and got check C. 
and Chexy delivered him great news as well. Approximately 12 months on one bill as well. So he got a lot of months and a lot of checks. Should be yours as well. Fifth stimulus, what do we know about that fifth stimulus? Well, your benefits are going up a lot. We'll be tracking that inflationary data on Friday. We'll get guidance of whether the July CPI-W will go higher based upon the Friday PCEI. Six stimulus, we'll go over gasoline prices on prime time in evenings. They're likely to go higher because, and they have been tracking higher. International Brent crude has tr troubled up to 108 again. There you go. Told you it was going to happen. And then seven stimulus, the presidents are likely to forgive that $10,000 student loan debt forgiveness. Uh, he is coming out of lockdown for COVID. That is an announcement is coming within just days. In the big second half, we have a second half like you've never seen. Like you've never seen. I did not rehearse it. Uh, I have a, I have in my mind a thousand different ways how to record the second half. I have no idea how it's going to come out of my mouth. So if you know me pretty well, because you've been watching me for a while, you know you're in store for something. You know you're in store for something. <laughs> you can see the smoke come about of my nostrils already. Yeah, it's coming up in the second half. And you've got to watch this because I'm not going to do this again. I just, I don't think I physically can do it again. It's coming up in the second half. Plus, of course, I got to get you some jacks. That I could do seven times a day, 16 hours a week. Uh, you know, that I can keep, 16 hours a day, what am I saying? I can do that to the kingdom, uh, to, the, uh, to the cows come home. But I'll be going over your incredible checks in the big second half and then that shocker of a story become a member i'll see you back in 60 seconds as america's most loved show at afternoons ally continues if you want money right now not five days from now and not five weeks from now then reach out to the community page the volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities that's at news.la.com forward slash community the community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you they can help you find rent utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the biggest week that it was continues because it's not over. It's a shocker, and I don't think any week could be like this. We'll have more tonight on Evening Delight in prime time. As we go over the Apple and Amazon earnings, you want to become a member. Go right on this video and subscribe. Go right on this video and join the channel. And we're going to go over all these incredible four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. We're going to go over all those incredible checks starting right now. You're going to learn why in the second half. Becoming a member to this channel is going to really have higher value than ever before. The value of this channel overnight went through the roof. And I'll explain to you why later in this video, why your value as a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP has now become incredibly valued. Has become incredibly valued. I don't want to get choked up because it's very, very important. It's coming up late in this recording. Let's go into some checks. Let's stay on message first. And let's go over these incredible four similar checks in every USA. The President of the United States did a series of executive actions in the month of March. At the same time, people were saying to me, The Build Back Better Act hasn't gotten done. Can you find me some checks? And I did. And they Follow two things I wanted for you because I care so much about you. First, that these checks are big sums of money. And I got them, about $100,000, lots of different checks that add up approximately $100,000. Then, number two, broad eligibility because I wanted to make sure you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you have children, if you don't have children. If you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad benefits, go get it as well. 
Number three, I want to make it simple. In a membership newsletter delivered to you as members, so you just go down, click, 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 apply, apply, apply. So simple. That's why the viewership of this channel has been winning and getting monstrous sums. And monstrous is not $1,200. Monstrous is not $10,000. We are talking a lot more money than that. I've been getting monstrous sums on this channel from this since the month of March. The money's still there. You got to hope the money is there. Uh, for a while, but the good news is you're watching this channel right today. You're going to go get that money right now. First, become a member if you haven't, and now let's go over those incredible checks starting right now. The first check is $6,500 to $12,000. This is the check that Spelly got. It's the weatherizing grant. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if, if you are on benefits, go get it as well. How do you get this incredible check? Step one, go into this video, become a member. Go down the membership newsletter, delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, do you find check A? There it is. Click the link. It sends you right in, and you can go get that money. Go get it right today. Don't wait on it. $6,500, $12,000. But you're not going to stop there yet. You're going to go get check B. That is what that other viewer got, 18 months of them. And that is a lot of money. Fifteen dollars to $80,000, but a lot of viewers are potentially getting more than $8,000 right now. It is single individual, $75,000 or less, married couple, $150,000 or less, and if you are on benefits, go get it as well. How do you get it? So simple. Become a member of this channel right away, right today. Go down that membership newsletter to refine check B. Click the link where you find check B, and then it sends you into the Nationwide website, and then you apply. Then you get these great sums of money, get these incredible checks across the board. Look how well we've done it. That is check A, B, that's 80000 That was check A, that's 12000 That's $100,000 already there. We're not done. We're going to go get check C, as Spelly did and countless viewers have gotten. Many viewers have gotten over 150000 most viewers have averaged 45000 and a lot have gotten at least $2,000 a month over 12 months. This is rent, utilities, mortgages, this is more. How do you get this? Step one, become a member. Step two, go down that membership newsletter, you find check C. And when you find check C, click the link. It, it tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. It's for rent, utilities, mortgages, this is more. The success stories are incredible. Viewers have gotten over $50 million from this channel since it launched on April 25th, 2020. And let's look at some of the success stories that viewers have gotten for Check C. Look at these sums of money for rent from Nisi, Richard, Nancy, Mark, and Elizabeth. Go get Check C for these numbers for utilities, like Angela, Mark, Nancy, Mark's brother got, got 15,000. Like these numbers for SNAP, the same brother laws getting quarter million dollars over 10 years. Like these numbers for combinations. Nisi went from 23,000 to 50,000. Mark went from 32,000 on that graphic to 166,000. He went from 32 to this graphic, then 50 to 100, and then got check B, 66. Lorraine went from 105 to 150. What is the common equation of these three viewers? First, they're in all the live chats because you can't miss a single recording. <laughs> This is not the recording you want to miss, folks. You're going to see in about four minutes from now, this is not the recording you're going to miss because I dare not repeat what's going to go on in this recording ever again. <clears throat> and you're going to say, what did I miss? I say, I'm not going to repeat it. I'm not going to repeat it because I don't want to repeat it. Uh, <laughs> number two, they keep on getting sums of money. They keep on getting sums of money. They get the money on the com. They've been getting this money since March. You do that as well. So let's recap. Number one, go into this video, subscribe. You're watching the number three most watched financial news channel in America, expanding to number two. With Ally Live, now 24 hours a day, thank you for all the incredible hundreds of new members today. Go into this video, become a member. Number two, the LA.com website relaunch with big stories about your money on the hour. And then the comings of Ally 2 and 3, new channels coming to expand this family. Now, what do you need to do? Step one, go into this video, subscribe. Then go into the video, join as a member. Hit that member link and then hit that little bell the front of this channel to make sure you get that incredible membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll go over more about that membership newsletter and everything you need to know about it in prime time tonight on evenings. Now, with that, the let's turn to the, the shocker of a story. Uh, and I got to back up on this one. I'm not going to make this recording again because I really don't care to th th this this last announcement ever again because I really don't care to go over this ever again. Uh, it it is very bizarre and it's unexplainable. And as a broadcaster, my job is to explain things 
in, uh, so that you can digest it, and yet I can't digest it. Let me explain what the story is about. The story is about HR 5376. That is a bill that is likely to be called for a vote in the Senate by the end of next week. A reconciliation bill by Chuck Schumer and Joe Manchin solidified overnight. I can tell you the history of what went on. I can't explain to you the why because I don't even understand it. Let me take the history of what's going on. In this uh, administration, Joseph Biden came in and said he had a series of uh, agendas he wanted to do as president. He announced the agendas. Uh, children, climate, elderly people, nutrition, uh, lots of different items. And he publicized them, he put them in printed writing. Then he himself, the President of the United States, wrote a monstrosity of a bill, which he said was going to be his agenda. He said it was going to be his legacy. He said, these are his words. He said it was going to be the New Deal. It was called the Build Back Better Act. It was passed, it was introduced to the House. And when it introduced to the House, it was then mirrored and morphed and modified and split into two, and then paired with something called Roads and Bridges. And we remember all that, that up and down and over and around. It was passed in the House, and in passing the House, there were a lot of Democrats in passing the House who said, you have to do this for me at a later date. So they still had a lot of things tied to it. There was Pramil Jalabal who said, you have to keep these provisions in there that uh, help that help people in need. There were uh, the, the moderate Democrats who said, you have to have the salt cap, otherwise we won't support the Bill Back Better Act. So we remember all the different parts of the Democratic Party said, you gotta keep things going along. It landed in the Senate, then in the Senate, it, 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 it floundered for a while with Bernie Sanders really going after Joe Manchin. Starting about three months ago, Joe Manchin and Chuck Schumer were negotiating as the sole negotiators on the Build Back Better Act. They were not updating anyone else in their party. So those individuals in the party actually said they were finding out the news in broadcast. Then what happened about three weeks ago is that Joe Manchin and Chuck Schumer announced that they had a major progress on the Build Back Better Act, which they continue to report to as the Build Back Better Act. And they said the deal was the cheaper prescription medication. They said they're saying off of the Senate parliamentarian. She's likely to rule this week. She was likely to rule last week. At the tail end of last week, Joe Manchin said, we got two options. Split the Bill Back Better Act into two bills. Do what we've agreed to now and call the vote by late July. I support that. Or, and do the second part, which involves climate in September. Or have it all wait to fall and do one Bill Back Better Act. That was just late last week. I can now report other things that we learned in the last few hours. In the last few hours, we learned that between last Friday and earlier this week, the negotiations fell apart between Joe Manchin and Chuck Schumer. They absolutely fell apart. Then, out of nowhere, Joe Manchin reached out to Chuck Schumer around Tuesday this week and said, you know what? Um, I love you to death. We're like brothers that fight all the time. This is actually his words. And I want to restart the negotiations. They restarted the negotiations. And within less than 24 hours, they announced they had reached a deal. Now, this is Thursday morning, July 28th, 2022. At the time they announced they had a deal on the reconciliation, you, myself, Every broadcaster obviously assumed that they were referring to the Build Back Better Act. I mean, that's what it was 24 hours earlier. That's what it was a week earlier, a day earlier. And a lot of the news articles actually ran, my goodness, shocker, deal on the Build Back Better Act. I, in fact, sent out that message, shocker, deal on the Build Back Better Act. They announced a deal on the reconciliation. Ironically, they didn't use the word Build Back Better Act. You see the way this is going? This is the part in which I don't know what's going on. I can just tell you the news. I don't know, I don't know the logic. I don't know what, what's going on. I can tell you the story. What happened thereafter was that by Wednesday night, they announced they had reached a deal on the reconciliation, and then suddenly it switched to not the reconciliation, but a reconciliation. Then suddenly the words Bill Bapper Act suddenly disappeared and suddenly the words appeared the American uh, Inflation Reduction Act, the IRA. The IRA, the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022. 
The who? <laughs> I said, excuse me. So they just sort of rebuilt, renamed the Bill Bat Better Act. That's what it looked like for like a blink of an eye. And then we started to go through the terminology of what is in the American Inflation Reduction Act of 2022. Here's what I can tell you right now. At the time of this recording for July 12, 2022, the Democrats have literally changed everything. They're, first of all, the president's agenda for, for two years is gone. Everything he said you need, I guess he thinks you don't need anymore. Everything that Pramila Jalapal said she demands, she actually is embracing this America uh, Inflation Reduction Act. Everything that Joe Manchin said he's against, suddenly he's in favor of. What's going on? Let me just tell you broadly, and then I'll go over the specifics. Broadly, this inflationary Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 is being touted as a modification of what they were working on for a year and a half, but it's not. That's my analysis. My analysis is not the Bill Bapper Act. It's not the Build Back Better Act. It bears no resemblance to the Build Back Better Act. It's just a recon, and it's not the result of negotiations of the Build Back Better Act. This is not the result of modifying things in the Build Back Better Act. That's what they're trying to paint. They're trying to, well, let me just tell you what it is first before I go over what they're trying to do to you. The, this uh, is just another bill. It's just another recon. What is in this recon? Is there anything in this recon for you? Let's go over the details of what's in the, what's in this recon. Is there anything in the recon for you? Uh, no. <laughs> the only thing you can find in this recon that actually would give you money doesn't really make sense. Seventy five hundred dollars for the purchase of a new electric vehicle, or four thousand dollars for the purchase of a new electric a new electric used vehicle. Sounds pretty good until you read the next line, which is only if you're low income and middle class. If you're low income, then that means you're making what? Less than $60,000 a year. So to go buy a new electric vehicle, you're going to spend $75,000 because most electric vehicles are $70,000, which is more than a year and a half of your salary. Uh, make sense? No, it doesn't make, it doesn't make any sense. Who's going to spend... $70,000 if you're low income on electric vehicle to get $7,000 tax credit. It makes no sense. It just makes no sense. Uh, the $4,000 maybe makes sense if it's a person that just spends crazy. Maybe they spend 50% of their annual income on buying a used electric car. That, but other than that, is there anything in there that's Build Back Better Act? No. So it's it's not Build Back Better Act. For anyone to call this Build Back Better Act, it's disingenuous. Number two, why? What is this? Okay, here comes my attempt to analyze the situation. My attempt to analyze the situation is that the Joe Manchin specifically said yesterday he's happy that he could finally deliver something and he's tired of being beat up in the press and, and being harassed by everyone from celebrities to, to social media groups and everything else. So Manchin did this for his own, um, for, so that he can sleep at night, so that he does not have people heckling him. Great. Um, Chuck Schumer. Chuck Schumer did this because he wanted to have a provision. He wanted to have some law out there to deal with climate. That's fine. But what about everything else that Chuck Schumer... I mean, climate's just one subject matter. The president has 55 agendas. Where are the other 55 agendas? Number three, uh, is this going to pass? I don't know if this will ever pass. Uh, it, 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 it is very strange what this is supposed to be. Um, what did the president say? The president issued a statement saying um, a lot of stuff. All right, let me give you my takeaway. My takeaway, my impression of the situation is the following. They, they basically, in my opinion, thought that the words Build Back Better Act have a bad connotation to them, that they have a connotation that, that is too polarizing, that looks like rampant spending by the Democrats for people in need, and that that's gonna cause inflation. So what they did was they took a very, very nonpartisan issue like climate, of which there's not a lot of climate in here, by the way, uh, a climate, and then put a title to it called 
the Inflationary Reduction Act, which is just total bogus. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just bogusness. It's just stupid. It, yeah, it's stupid. It's just, it's nothing. It, it doesn't reduce inflation. This bill. It's just, it's just a fake title added to something. Um, and then they're going out and issuing press releases, like the president's press release yesterday, which is just, which is just not a believable press release that says, um, "Congratulations to months of work to finally get us a bill that deals with inflation." Uh, the reason why he's doing this is because the president's being blamed for inflation. The reason why the president's doing this is because he's being blamed by for recession. The reason why the president's doing this is because he knows if he doesn't address inflation and recession, he's out um, after one term if he doesn't even choose not to rerun again. The takeaway for you is that does this feel like something like before? It does. It feels like second stimulus. When Steve Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi had been negotiating for months on end for a bill that was going to be billions and billions of dollars, and then suddenly it never happened. Do you remember the second stimulus? Never happened. And what happened when that never happened? I came around. I appeared. I appeared and I said, you know what? Steve Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi didn't get it done. Republicans are done to get it done. We're going to get it done. You and I as a family. And we got it done. Viewers on this channel got massive sums of money in December of 2020 when there was no second stimulus. And what have we been doing ever since? We haven't been waiting for Congress. You were so smart. God bless you. You were so smart in the month of March. Do not wait for anything from Congress. Get money where the money is available. And we've been getting it. We're still getting it. As if one viewer got 80 checks just days away. She got it last week. 80 to 100 checks. That is what's available. Massive sums of checks. We will always get checks on this channel. We'll continue to get checks. The four simplest checks in every U.S. state were done by executive action. That's why valueship, membership of this channel has now gone through the roof. Because this is the channel that will always have your four stimulus for you. We'll find more four stimulus for you because there's always new executive actions. And we'll continue to show you more ways to get more checks across the board. We were never waiting for a bill back there. We never were. And that is why you want to get these big sums of money. Go right in this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. The great news is that we have learned to earn. We have gotten money on the common. We have never waited for money to come from Congress. We have never waited for them to be reliable for their comments or their statements. Jalapal should be ashamed of himself. Bernie Sanders should be ashamed of himself. Uh, Chuck Schumer should be ashamed of themselves. It's as though they can say something and then simply forget it days later. You and I are not going to let that succumb to us. We're not going to slump into an element of negativity. We're going to get every amount of money we can because those sums of money are available right now. They've been available since the month of March. I love you to death. This is the channel that's winning. Tell your friends and family to come on over because this is where people are getting big sums of money and will continue to get big sums of money because you don't need Congress to get you money. There's money in other ways. Get that financial freedom and become a member. I'll see you tonight on Eatings L8. Thank you for joining me on this incredible broadcast from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Have a beautiful day and stay with LA for more. <laughs>